Okay, just stay there. Yeah. Sharp, yellow, that means sharp. And that's a uh, two millimeters. Right? That's two millimeters. Reason why I'm recording this is <clears throat> yesterday I thought I am done, but actually I found this guy here and I realized I completely missed this uh, bearing, right? When you put this like I did yesterday together, it's okay and it's just enough room, right? It's a 14 millimeters like this, 14, uh, 12 and, and about this, 14 millimeters. Same like this and that's why it worked. <laughs> It goes like this, right? Same, same, uh, yeah, yeah not sharp, see, 14. <clears throat> but then I realized, okay, it doesn't work like that because I put it like this, it's gonna okay. But as soon as I add this, uh, <clears throat> like it should, like I should. See, there's a inside. That's a one-way bearing inside, yeah? And this one, one way, a one-way bearing plus uh, this bearing. It goes like, yeah, it goes like this inside. And as soon as I put it back, like I should, and press, guess what? It's flash. And when I add this color underneath, it's gonna be way, way too big. And I'm not gonna be able to put it in, to put it here. So I have an option using high performance gear, or I have option of cutting this a little bit here. in order to, to get to the, uh, uh, like underneath the 14 millimeters. And I chose to cut this one millimeter here. Because by cutting this portion, I made it flat. Hopefully I made it flat. If not, I'm gonna make it flatter. By removing that, what I'm doing actually, I'm raising this <clears throat> main gear higher, so uh, yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna be like not like this. It's gonna be higher uh, over there, and I'm gonna be able to use <clears throat> bearing like I should, and I should demonstrate it right now. A good thing I notice it because without bearing. It's not working like it should. So it goes up. It goes up. Right. Just down here because of the light. Just worrying. It's not going to be nicely because it's pretty late already yeah it's all the way through see now how this main gear is in the middle which is perfect just because I cut one millimeter maybe extra and I need to put this underneath so it doesn't go down and that's the challenge now so I have to lift this however <laughs> like a main shaft up Like up and then take that special stuff, those flares, and, and try to put it maybe upside down. Right? Maybe, maybe go upside down and try to put it like that's pretty flat. Like this.
here. There's some inside. And that's the challenge, right? You need to just jam it in between. Now the actual jam it should should go smoothly. Yeah. Like that. And you have to put it underneath. <laughs> it's not easy. Let's do it one more time. So <coughs> This first, this one, it goes inside. inside. Let's try it first. Yeah, it goes up. Put the first shaft here. Shaft. Okay. Don't put it all the way. Just a little bit. That's the thing. Oh no. Yeah just a little bit and then try to edge this guy here but wedge is the wrong word it should go smoothly just be fitting in between this it blurs with teeth yeah these are having this small teeth no I don't know, it doesn't look like keeps wait a minute. Okay. You recording? Yeah. See, that's the original. Fourteen millimeters. Can you see this here? Yeah, is it yellow? Yeah. Yeah, that's original. And that's my modification. Otherwise, it's not gonna fit inside. Same, 14 millimeters. How did I achieve this? By taking this plastic and this guy here. Very straight. I took about a half millimeter of this and then it should be no problem i can do it here like this without problem i can put it here and i can put this one here see it goes easily and i can i can put it nicely but i don't want to why because this is high performance and this is old style i modified modified old style so it's good in this model because this model is a V2 uh, model. See, it's very nice now. All I need to do is, where's that thing? Yeah. Take it like this and put it here. See, now I can put it nicely because the difference of half millimeter up, half millimeter down, and it, 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 it is significant right okay let's just put it here first there you go there you go and i'm gonna put it this one here round there and again i lost this Maybe, you know, maybe I should try it from up. Yeah. Go like that. And put it underneath like this. And where's that piece? And put that piece underneath. Like that. 
there you go see that's nice fit when you hold it like this then you can work your way down just by wiggling with this slope here the center piece what's the problem problem is because it's as I said, old models on the new model. So this needs to be straight, otherwise it's not gonna fit through. So how about that? It's not completely straight. It's not aligned. See, this one works much better now well, I can center it easily and leave it and before I just didn't have enough space to put it in between and now it's nice and loose Still, it's not aligned completely here. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is really pain in the butt. And we are losing light. That's the another, that's another stuff here. Can you come here close to the window? Yeah. should be a big deal right there you go I put it down and just put that piece and put it down it should be that of a problem but actually it is Do you see it now It's smaller color now, <laughs> but it is. Everything is problem with this such a such a small model. There you go. <laughs> it is really really hard. Please, please, please. <laughs> it's, it's spinning. That's good. Yeah. It's spinning. It's true. Just not all the way through. Did you move your screws? No, I didn't move anything. There are no screws. Oh. Just the holes. Oh. Just the holes and this shaft needs to go through. Right. So basically, you just need to push it left and right, and it needs to go down. I see the what's the main idea now. When you look at it, this main gear is sitting right in the middle. Everything is nice and aligned. This works too. Also nice. See, this works good. Only the reason what I see the models come on it spins so it should be all the way through it's not I don't see the shaft and this thing it's not mm -hmm. 
just not aligned completely. Anyway, you see what's the deal. I want to show what's the difference with the models. This is of course tail uh, driven uh, with a with a belt, and that's tail driven with a shaft. And you see the difference from model to model. This one has a double, see, and this one has only lower one. This one is wider. This one is wider than this one, like the torque is wider than the belt and the belt has a double and the torque has only bottom one but that doesn't make any problem if you know what you're doing <laughs> and this works just need to put it all the way through but that's how it works basically finally i'm done i'm not done done and i'm losing my mind with this thing it's so tiny and everything but you can see it's standing better, nicer. It just doesn't want to go all the way through. See, it's wiggling, wiggling, and it's not all the way through. See? Oh, I see. This is not completely aligned. Oh, you're right. I'm stupid. I'm way too stupid. Allen key. I need to remove these I guys you. here. I told you Make smart. it smart no. pants. Look at that. And then it's going to go all the, the way through. You the screws on, on your way. See? But I'm the woman. I don't know and anything. Look. Oh it's not God. done yet. But it's going down. A miracle. A miracle. <laughs> Using your brain. But, okay. but, but I'm fiddling with this for the whole care. afternoon, right? I was working for eight hours. Oh my god, look, you're so clever and I'm so dumb. I need to remove this and on the other side one in order to put the shaft through. Because shaft is there. There you go, finally, oh. Eureka. And yeah. now you can. And it, it's still enough room. But I think your brain is shrinking. Yes, that's true. And that's even spinning underneath. That's good. You see, you can spin it so it's not tight, tight. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be tight now. And one other goes underneath here, but I'm not gonna do that one anyway. And that's another thing. I learned about the auto rotation. I'm very ashamed. I think I'm stupid. Instead of being older and wiser, I'm getting uh, actually not so wise or stupid. For the rotation, I said when this is auto rotation, uh, rotating, you don't have uh, the rotation of the tail. You don't need the rotation of the tail because this is the free spinning from the inertia, and there is no there is no uh, motor, so there is no torque. There is no uh, the 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 extra torque, not the extra torque, but the reaction of the torque. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't swing. So it's gonna be fairly steady. You don't, and people even say, I read, that if you use the tail, you're rubbing power from the auto rotation. So you, you're not supposed to have a tail rotation and everything, just the main rotation. <laughs> See, you learn all life, you learn, and then you end up kind of stupid. But this is, this is really now high. This is really nice. See? Where, where it meets, you know what I mean? Where that thing meets, uh, when the gear meets, uh, this gear, main gear me means the 15, it's right in the middle. It's perfect. And my wife was right from the beginning, right? She was right from the beginning. <laughs> you just need to undo your screws. And then the shaft is gonna go through. But now there is a <clears throat> bearing in place. I'm using the older model and everything's fine. Finally, I know I'm stupid. Sorry, but I learned and I learned today that my wife is more clever, clever than me. I was just frustrated with this thing. And now, and I know how it works, I have it on the uh, recorded. 
I have it on the computer, so I'm gonna look and see what mistakes I did. Of course, I'm gonna cut a lot of that stuff because it's embarrassing. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>